Everybody, welcome back to. Oh, that's a loud, loud <laughs> clap. Everybody, welcome back to the Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine. We are your hosts. I'm Scott Manvog. And I'm Pat Tujan. And tonight we are back again with the one and only yeah. JC Hill. JC, welcome again. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. We are here. We are going to get into. If you guys have ever been to our about section on our webpage, we have a list of 100 top beers in the world right now, according to Beer Advocate. Hop Rod Rye is on that list, and we're getting into it. So this is a well-renowned number... I don't even do you know what number it is. What? I was going to say, do you know where it's at on that list? You know, I wish I did. I'm sorry. Um, Hop Rod Rye. This guy's going to come put you in at four ninety nine, and the ABV is unknown. I will get back to you on that one. Oh, 8%. Not that. Damn. 8%. Not too shabby. I'm going to pop into this. Uh, Bear Republic. Go. Yeah, where... They're out of... Yeah. Um... Cloverdale. Okay. Cloverdale. They do uh, Racer 5. Yeah, they do really Racer popular five. IPA. Just a side note here, I'm using the uh, the shotgun tool by uh, our good friend Dave over at shop.tailgatingideas.com. Uh, Dave, thank you, man. This thing works like a charm. It sure does. Um, yeah, Bear Park, they do Racer 5, which everybody seems to know. Um, it's a... It's the big one over there. You guys carry Racer 5 at uh, Calgary? Yeah, Park. yeah, we got it on tap right now. It's yeah, JC, tell, really tell, well. tell everybody what you do. Yeah, well, we started... Uh, my partner and I started California Kebab. It's a kebab shop with craft beers, and uh, we're looking at opening a second location uh, in San Diego this fall, right on the beach. And you guys are going to be a certified nano brewery. Is that we're going to be a nano. We're actually going to be a little bit bigger than a nano brewery. A nano brewery is a three barrel system or less. We're going for a five. I don't know if we're going to be able to get nice. a five, but if it's available, we'll get it. That's so impressive. What, though. what would that set you as? If it's not a nano brewery, would it just be? Well, a it's still brewery? technically a nano brewery, okay. but hop rod rye. Um, and then well, you guys are going to carry casks and a ton of other beers. Yeah, right? we're going to have casks. We're going to have uh, yeah a bunch of other beers on tap. And uh, yes, that seems be, to be the way that, that seems to be the way that like a lot of San Diego, you know, just like the craft beer movement is going. A lot of people are really trying to get those really intricate, tiny micro brews to be a unique kind of place to go to. And I think that's really cool. You guys are doing that. I think Definitely. it's awesome that you guys are doing casks. There's only like three places in San Diego now that do casks, and it's going to be awesome to have another one. Yeah, it'll be good. And, Cask beer is, is great, and uh, just have your cask one night. That'd be fun. Just bring it in here. Try to do it. Just do all. <laughs> just do one like seven reviews on one cask. All right, let's get into a hop rod right here. Well, let's off, the, off the bat here, Scotty, what's your color? One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. That's Where a, are you putting this? That's looking at a seven. It's they got a nice red color to it. You can't really see through the glass. Yeah, oh, it does have a red color. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, a little cloudy. It's a it's a solid seven for me. I concur. JC. Yeah, about yeah, about the same. Seven. What so about so what, what can you tell us about the head on this beer, Jason? Tell, tell us about rye. What do you, what do you, I mean, well, rye, rye is a, technically an adjunct, and rye is um, basically they'll use about uh, probably about between ten to thirty percent of the grain in this beer. They'll use with rye. And rye kind of gives it like a spicy, bready sort of characteristic to it. That's very unique. For rye beers, is that I'm sure we'll be able to pick up on that one. Why they have the flames around the hot dog? <laughs> not that spicy. Nice, nice nice uh, see, so I mean, it's kind of like a background spice, <laughs> yeah. not really like a habanero spice. Is that something right. that we're going to taste up front, or is that going to be like a lingering taste after I swallow? I mean, what what do you think this is going to be? Like? I think it's. I, I mean, I don't think it's going to be like spicy, hot, spicy. I think it's just going to kind of. You're going to kind of detect that. kind of like bit flame of... off the hot rod spicy kind of? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Like you're standing there watching the I really don't know what cheers. to expect, but cheers. Let's do this. I'm excited that this is on the top 100 beer list. Hmm. Wow, I actually really like that. That's really good. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, again, it's like, on the 100, 100, rye. The 100 beer list. You guys are you say rye, like, you're talking about like rye bread. Like rye bread, yeah. Do you I guys get in that kind of bittery aftertaste that you would normally get from like an IPA? That it's like it's you gotta wait for it a second, it lingers. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> yeah on the finish a little bit. Yeah, yeah right? for sure. There it is. Dude, that's totally what I was feel, yeah. finish. Wow, finish. That really does. That's a good call. Yeah. That really Great tastes call. like an IPA. Look at this head. I want to point out this head. You see this lacing around the glass? That's. Uh, I've heard that used. That's a sign that of a good beer right there. I've heard that term used a lot. What does that actually mean? It's just how well the. Uh, you know, the head kind of falls down the side of the glass, and it's it's just the sign of a, a good head makes the beer, you know? The head contains all the oils and the aroma and, and 
a lot of the flavors. So. Which, by the way, we were called out a while ago for using the wrong glasses on a uh, drinking the Chappelle from Green Flash. From Green Flash, and it was for that very reason that we weren't in a glass that was conducive with like holding, you know, a solid the proper that was head. Hold in. So we went out and bought them, and now we're here. Here we are. Legit. Um, now with like some of the thicker beers, you get it where they leave the ring, right? Like that's what you want from like a really thick. Uh, yeah, like a, like an oatmeal stout, stout. or stout. Uh, lacing. <laughs> Is it called lacing when they leave the? Yeah, rings? lacing on the glass. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'll add that yeah, one. Into is, the that's a good one. characteristic of this beer. You looking for like that foam ring, maybe? <laughs> it's it's kind of foamy. It kind of looks like E. coli in a jacuzzi when you get out, and you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. I gotta say that the rye, we had a black rye from uh, Carl Strauss uh, last week. I love that beer, by the way. That was really That's good, actually. It was actually. a really good beer. It was a black rye, though. And, I mean, do, I mean you feel the same way? This seems good. No, I really like this beer. I really, really do. Um, that black rye was, was a little different. Um, again, I wasn't really prepared for it because it was Carl Strauss, and it's one of the bigger names, and you just kind of assume that everything they do is going to try and be agreeable across the board. Mm -hmm. So whenever you get something like that, and it kind of blows you away, like even like a, a Gordon Beer, you're like, oh, wow, that's, you guys really did a great job with that. But this one, I had high expectations, and I feel like it uh, like it hit. I, and I like that bitter finish to it. Yeah, it's good. I like that. It kind of makes like you want to take another sip. Exactly. Leaves you wanting more. <laughs> do, you, do you agree with this, this set uh, this comment that they actually have on the bottle says, Hop Rod Rye is a high-performance, turbocharged, alcohol-burning monster ale with dual overhead top, top <laughs> injection. <laughs> made really, with really 18% plug rye. 18%, okay. You were actually pretty close. You said 20. I think, yeah, I think I said like 10 to 30. So right That was pretty good, there. though. Wow. Yeah. Sonoma yeah. County Ales, though. you got to give it to Sonoma. You know, those guys up there, they do they do a couple things right. They do a lot of weed right, and they do a lot of beers right. <laughs> they do wine right, too. And, oh, my God, oh, they, do, they do do yeah, wine first right. First and foremost. Yeah. So I'm going to put that one before pot. Basically, <laughs> all of the... You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Either way, no, though, I, so, you know, I, I like this. It's I, a great beer, yeah. I, I, I concur with it. Being what I like place. about... Um, Northern and Central California is that they have a big, uh, a big like food industry too, where cooking is is a legit sustainable cooking. And yeah, and like you go to Napa Valley, and they're just as passionate about their food as they are their wines, and I would assume the same way about their beers. And trying to pair that and and I don't know, anytime you get someone that can find that kind of crossover where you want to pair a food with a beer, you get that harmonious type of beer. Definitely, and, yeah. definitely. Speaking of, we have our first event coming up from the Beers Gone Bad. Oh! On the 8th of October in Coronado, we are going to be hosting our first beer and food tasting event, so keep an eye out for that one. Yeah, it's going to be we'd fun. We'd love to have everyone who watches the show come and join us. It's going to be great. We'll be selling tickets. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be cool. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be good, so uh, we'll see you there. Overall, real quick, we're closing up here. What are you guys going to put this at? I'm going to put this one at an 8.5. I actually really like this beer. I'd buy this a beer in, again in a second. This one's going to be a 7.5 for me. Generally, right off the bat, I'm not crazy about the flavors, but I really like the finish. JC? Um, I'll probably go down to a six and a half, uh, more just because I'm not a big rye guy, but I I think it's one of the better rye beers I've ever had. Rye guy. So, <laughs> so a solid seven and a half? Is that that's our average? I think so. Eight, six, and a seven and a half. Yeah, that's good, though. I'll do the math. Not bad, though. I, you know, it's a very easy drink. It's a good color. It tastes... Taste well, but everybody, thanks for checking in. Some beer's gone bad. We're the beer fools like wine, guys. And remember, support your local breweries because craft beer is the new movement, and we're gonna be right in the forefront of it here at the, at the Beer's Gone Bad. Check out JC Hill, Cali Kebab. Thanks for checking in, guys. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.